One of the word that the Lord put into my heart that I need to teach you is regarding the life of Joseph. Joseph is a very good example of governance. Very good example of governance. Okay. But his beginning didn't start off as the governor his beginning start off as a seed in his heart a seed of governance was placed in his heart by god a seed was placed in his heart by god a seed of governance he was sleeping and when he was sleeping god gave him a dream and he saw how wheat is going to bow down to him he saw how the stars the moon bowing down to him so his beginning did not start as a governor it started as a dream in his heart it started as a dream in his heart before you can enter into your role as a governor and if before you can exercise the grace of governance there must be a seed planted in your heart it has to start in your heart as a perspective that this is a possibility this is a possibility so no you may not see it overnight but it has to be still preached that's right i still have to look at the odds of it not happening and yet come here and say i'm going to still preach because maybe this seed that i am throwing maybe at least one will fall on good ground maybe at least one sarah will capture it and then she's 90 years old but she's still able to cause that seed to conceive inside of her i don't want to preach that is not my focus i want to bring you a heart of the lord what is the heart the heart of the lord is that you become the light amen said you are the light of this world and the bible also says you are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid you are a city you are one city you are by yourself a city you can function and produce results like a city produces amen the results that a individual produces is different from the result that a city can produce god does not see you as an individual he's saying that the results that you can produce the scale of it is in the size of a city wow the way you are supposed to bear fruit is not the way an individual produces now god is giving you an invitation for those that have been studying well growing well in the last season here you are whether you're ready or not here i come <laughs> 
This is an invitation of mass production. This is an invitation for a large scale production. God is saying that the way you produce results in the last season is not how I want you to produce results in the next in the next season I want you to produce results as a city. Anything that you know is achievable is not from God, it's from you. Anything you know is not achievable. Now you're functioning like a city. So in the last season, I encouraged you to get out of the spirit of slavery. And I said, now don't focus on nine to five jobs. Focus on having your own business. Now my question is, as a city, what does that business look like? And here we are, we believers, we don't have the capacity of thinking more than a house. And yet God did not call us to be just a candlelight. He called us to be a city on a hill elevated city it's just not a city a city with elevation an honored city an elevated city may I expand the dimensions of your spirit today may I expand and say there is a need for an Abrahamic grace to manifest in our generation. Uh Aha. Yes. There is a need for an Abrahamic anointing to manifest. Yes, you are a faithful prayer warrior, but after all the prayer, if the church is still in need, where is the God of Abraham? Where is the God of Isaac? Where is the God of Jacob? Let me expand the boundaries of your spirit today. Let me expand and may you begin to see yourself the way God sees you. How does God see you? You're a city. You're a city. You're a city. And darkness cannot comprehend this light. Candle lights can be blown out. But when you become a light a city upon a hill. Now you are becoming a challenge against the Antichrist. Now you are becoming a genuine challenge against the forces of this world that is trying to enslave humanity. You have a 9 to 5 job, they can control you. You have a small, small business, they will shut you down. But when you become a principality, when you become a principality. So I'm praying that God will expand your capacity to receive this way. It's so important for you to understand. You don't come to church to feel good. You don't come to church so you can have your baby dedication, you get married and then we bury you. No, 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 no. You, there are places that can do a good job of burying you. If you're coming to church, it has to be because the church is now empowering your spirit. And now your spirit is not just shining like a light. Now your spirit is now becoming a city. 
the church i find is getting stuck in between these two places you are the light of the world you are the light of the world you are the light of the world okay how come pastor you're not talking about the next line we've heard you are the light you are the light you are the light but how come nobody is teaching you how to become the city lack of and my people do not perish because they prayed less my people perish because of the lack of understanding this word is bringing understanding into your spirit you are supposed to be not just the light you are supposed to be a city on a hill amen Why is it that the church focuses so much on being a good priest unto the Lord? Huh? Pray well. Have family time prayer. Do this, go to church, pray, sing, or tithe. We teach people of God to be a good priest. Yet the Bible says you are kings and priests. But nobody taught us to be kings. all the while you taught us how to be priest but nobody taught us how to be kings there is an order of kings when jesus came he talks about an anointing that he functioned in and it was prophesied upon him upon him shall be the government on his shoulders on his shoulders that means when jesus came he came in the grace to be a priest and a king in the role of a priest here he was standing in between the invisible and the visible and interceding for people but he didn't just come as a priest he also came as a king upon whom Oh the government would be on his shoulders This is your lineage This is your legacy This is the order in which you have been called to According to the information you're receiving so shall you become Do you know the book of Hebrews says Jesus came in the order of Melchizedek <laughs> How come nobody talks about that in our churches We all talk him on love Jesus he's coming back we are going to heaven is okay if you're broke Jesus is coming back yet the bible has verses that talks about Jesus coming to us in the order of Melchizedek and the order of Melchizedek who tapped into the order of Melchizedek Abraham tapped into the order of Melchizedek Please I don't want to insult anybody but if you see Joshua Joshua came in the order of Moses Okay but if you see Abraham he came in the order of Melchizedek because when Abraham gave tithes to Melchizedek and Melchizedek released a blessing upon him there is something that happened there is an exchange of anointing there's a grace that is released now Abraham starts to have the grace for government other governments started recognizing abraham as a government kings started recognizing abraham as a king and yet abraham did not have a crown all he had was a malki sadek that he gave his tithes to are you following what i'm saying So God is looking at a generation that can understand that there is an order of governorship 
that we must enter to there was a a widow where the prophet was sent to and the prophet told the widow i know you're getting ready to eat and die that's what she said he said but god has commanded you to feed me god has what yet the widow had not heard a physical command but there was already a command by god that had left heaven that had reached her and yet she did not have the skill set to know that this was a command in her spirit could it be possible that a word of governance has left the heaven and it has already arrived into your bones and you don't have the mechanism and the skill needed to open the envelope and read this information that the season of you being an individual is over welcome to the season of being a city on a hill some of you are, are thinking how how do i make it happen child of god first thing is you need to get this word into your bones get this word into your bones let your bones now begin to expand let your spirit begin to expand let everything inside of you begin to grow when the spirit grows according to the word that is given to you everything around you must adjust and expand Amen. to That's the right. spirit inside of you <laughs> oh when the word locates your spirit your spirit grows according to the weight of that word given to you then now everything around you has to adjust and make space make room to accommodate your spirit that is growing according to the word my god my god my god so the question is what word are you eating what word are you digesting you should come to a place where now you can't sleep that's when you know the word that was sent from above is working inside of you now you can't sleep now joseph will come and he will start telling his brothers oh by the way by the way by the way by the way i i i i see a, i see a dream i see a dream i can't stop it i can't stop talking about it yeah it was fire shut up inside his bones that one day i will rule one day the kings of this earth will bow down one day this, it it begin to stir up inside of him that he cannot shut himself up and the bible says they saw him coming from a distance <laughs> his dream was so loud that they could see him coming from a distance ah i wish we can learn how to surprise your enemy they saw joseph coming from a distance and if you give them distance in time they will have time to plot against you don't let them see you coming surprise your enemy with the word of governance let it grow inside water it water it feed it let your spirit grow why do you think jesus as a baby hid for 3 years 
because even as a jesus there was a season where he was very vulnerable very what vulnerable that was a season where he had to hide because if he didn't hide when he was vulnerable even jesus could be in danger tell me why else would he have to hide because every seed every dream there is a season where it is vulnerable you have to learn to grow in secret until you are strong now even when they want to kill you they cannot kill you but joseph they could see him coming a mile away he was dressed like a peacock <laughs> multi colored robe all talk hang 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 i'm going to do this i'm going to do that i'm going to do that da, 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 da. they could see him coming a mile away tell of god <laughs> those that you are listening to me in this ministry just eat and grow Shh. and just grow 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 let your spirit grow let it overflow begin to build so by the time your enemy figures out what you're doing the walls are already up That means this year you don't have time for self pity. That's right. That means you don't have time for oh I wish I was born on the right side. I, I, I wish I wish I was I I I had this. I wish I had a, a private school or whatever you wanted. And I wish I had this degree. I wish ah, no 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 no. I wish is in the past. Yeah. It does not matter what was not given to me. because what is being given to you at this moment is greater than what your biological parents could not give you the sum of everything that you have been denied in the past is nothing compared to the word of the lord that is being given to you in the present and therefore i have no doubt that you will outdo every plans of the enemy you're becoming a city i said you're becoming a city you're becoming a city Listen to prophetic and powerful sermons like this now available on the Shaiju Matthew app. Download for your Android or Apple devices. Hello, hello. Welcome to Revive Nations TV. We are so glad that you could join us here. I hope you have been impacted by the video that you just heard from the man of God. Write to us and let us know how these videos have been impacting you. We would love for you to join us on our social media platform as well and don't forget to download the Shaiju Matthew app which is available both on iOS and Android. Until we meet again, stay under the mighty hand of God. God bless you all and shalom. Distance is not a barrier to God. Revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 